Good day, painters and decorators of the interweb. That's hello to all my followers that are over in Australia. Good day means hello. I'll say good morning to you anyway. Um, another mural uh, wallpapering video today. I'm going to keep it simple. I'm going to keep this a lot. Uh, well, I'll say, let's get the time down. You've probably seen a video over there where I go through all the process of hanging the paper and everything like that. This is another one that I'm doing. It's um, John Paul Gaultier. If I say very expensive, I've had to Google this because I needed to see the if there was any specialist hanging instructions. There aren't, but it also showed me the prices that's in the UK. And um, let's just say, let's make sure my hands are clean. Let's make sure that I've got a sharp blade and take a bit of care with it. Don't rush it. But no, this is a mural wallpaper. I'll just quickly whiz through, if you're new to the channel, new to watching this video for the first time, I've got areas that customers pick some really luxury wallpapers. I've prepped them, I've sanded them down, we've put some mouldings around to make it look like a picture frame. And then once they're all sanded, I've um, put a coat of guards on as the sealer, i.e. primer. Um, could have used thin down paste, but because it was a cheaper contract emulsion that was on, I didn't want to take the chance, so we've used Zinza Guards as a, a base layer. Then we've gone with um, Wall Rock, a 75 width Wall Rock, you can get 55, so I've done 75 Wall Rock fibre liner. My last little strip there, I didn't need a full 75, so I dropped down to a, a 55 width and just cut it. That's why you can probably just see a little bit of colouring difference from the 75s to the 55. That by the by, that's my lining paper. We've got a cracking base. Well, not literally cracking because that's what fibre liner stops, but we haven't got any cracks. But we've got a great base to work on. I've got a really expensive wallpaper that's also a non-woven. And what we'll do, I'll paste the wall, get the paper on, blitz through it, dead easy and show you the final um, result. Now, what I do want to show you, because I won't show you hanging it, because we've seen videos of hanging it, straightforward. I've actually got um, a good, I don't know you can see it with the laser there. You see that, yeah? I've got my laser liner working. That edge that I've got there, I've just moved it, sorry. You see it moving it about, yeah. That edge that I've got there is actually a good edge. Now I'm going to hang from that side on that good edge because the way the pattern is, and I'm going to show you that in a minute, on this John Paul Gaultier, the way the pattern is, we want to keep that. And whatever we lose on the other side, because there will be a bit we're losing because of the size of the panelling that we've allowed for, we don't mind. The customers discussed it with me, how they want it looking. There's a bed going against it, so they're not too worried. But this feature in the paper patterning, we want to really not disturb it shall I say so I will be hanging from the good edge that's the molding trim this paper is three meters long now the paneling that I've got to work in you see there from there all the way down to there is 2.36 so let's call it 2.4 meters so we've got in effect 600 be taken off that 3,000, so 2.4, 2,400, 3,000, we've got a good bit that's coming off. Now how we're going to be working it is, we want to keep the pattern at the top. We want to keep the pattern at the top because that's one of the focal points that when you come in the room you'll see it. If the bed's down at the bottom, you're not going to see what's at the bottom of the patterning. So as long as we keep at the top what we want and at the bottom, we just cut it off. We, we, we've allowed for that, we know that. These are set panel sizes, three meters and the widths, oh, I'll have a look, 2.7 or something like that. But um, let me just come off camera, I'll move the camera around, I'll show you the pattern of the paper and explain it to you and then we'll get on with it. Let's, let's keep this under 15 minutes. So here we go, this is the luxury brand Jean-Paul Gaultier. I've even done it with a bit of a French twang, Jean-Paul Gaultier. I don't think I've got any people in France watching me to correct me on my pronunciation, that doesn't matter. But these, yeah, let's get back to it. So feature wallpaper, mural, they're in 
panels. Right, they're in four. This is a set of four. Now this is panel number four, that's panel number three. Got panel number two and panel number one. Now, I've said in previous videos, my preference, and it doesn't really bother me, but my preference is to hang right to left. So this is all on one roll, and I've cut them off that the first length that I'm gonna be hanging is actually drop number four. Because this is the one, can you see it there? I'm gonna call it a Pokemon ball. This is the one that, that edge there, if I just pull it up, that edge there will be going against my wooden trim framing, and that's what I want to keep. I want to keep this pattern in here. I don't want to be cutting into that. So because I know that the panelling is as good as I possibly can get plumb, I've got the laser on it. I've had a spirit level just to check it when it was fitted. I'm going to hang from this side and work right to left. Now, this edge here will match self-explanatory, that edge there and so on. The edge of number three panel will go against the right hand side of panel number two and then the final panel, and I'll bring it up here, the final panel, I've marked it off on here, the final panel goes from there to there. Now we will be cutting off um, a little bit on that side but that doesn't matter because the way the patterning is we're not going to really be noticing anything too um, detrimental that we've cut off. But there we go. I'm going to start. I'm going to get the first one on. I'm not going to explain how to get the first one on over there because you've seen that probably on a previous video. Or if not, let me spin you around. If you've not seen me hanging in mural wallpaper before, I'm going to say... Have a look at that one there that goes a bit more in depth to it this is going to be a bit more simpler it's more of a case of showing you putting the john paul gautier wallpaper on and probably i'll show you um when i've explained before and said to people i release the tension of the corners i'll show you how i do the cut, cuts on the corners and then we'll sh show you what it's all like finished so this will be a, a quick video but it's a lovely paper we're like non-woven What I've done there, you can see, we're actually... You can actually see, we're cutting quite a lot off there. Because there's the edge and going down. Now I've hung to the bead, which is nice. Oh, let me go there. we hung to the bead. But just to make sure, because we have got horizontal lines on this paper, I've just dropped my laser liner down to match up with one of these horizontals there just to make sure we're true so i can't do any more than that what i'm going to do i'm going to get it down now make sure it's all nicely um stuck cut across the top with my straight edge cut across the bottom i'll show you that i'll drop it down and um, that should probably explain how we do the cuts across the bottom um, and i'll show you how you do a corner if you've got a you'll understand it but for now that's pretty good i'm happy with that um, top tip Tuesday, make sure you put enough paste on, you can overroll it, don't put, enough, don't put loads on that you've got it oozing out everywhere, spread it out, make sure you've got a nice pile roller to apply it by and then you should be alright. If you've got any bits in your paste, because this is a bit of a shiny paper, pull the paper back, take the bits of harder paste out because they'll only show, they won't dry out enough. But um, for now I think that's self explanatory, we'll come back in a minute and I'll show you the cuts. All right, we've come to the bottom. You can see we've actually got a lot of excess paper there. Oh, the sun's, the sun's come out, brilliant. So don't try and cut it with all that excess. Trim it off. Trim it 
trim it off so you're not working with that weight pulling your paper down. Now, make sure you get it into your edge. I'm using the plastic, can you see me all right? I'm using the plastic squeegee. Move you around. Can you see me a bit better there? Sorry about the sun. Oh, can you still see me? I'm here. Yeah, it don't matter. Right, got my plastic squeegee. I'm just gonna feed that in to that edge carefully because you don't want to damage the paper. You just bring it down. You get your finger, just run your finger across it as well. Now, sharp blade. I use the Alpha blades. I think I'm in the dark. Right. And I'm gonna go from that corner all the way across. Make sure you get that right into the edge that you want to be cutting against. If you're not happy, get your plastic smoother just to push, push it in. Don't go over it too many times because these can create a bit of friction and pull off a bit of pigment of the colour of the paper. It hasn't happened here but I've seen it happen before. Keep it going in one. Don't put too much flex on your flexi cutting knife. And there's my cut. Nice. Now Always have a box of warm water with you just to get rid of any paste that's on any surface. I'll just gently wipe it round. Same way there. Now again, wipe that down. Dry it on your sweater. Just make sure you've got your paste all the way to that edge. Now, paste wise, this paper's a non woven. I'm using, can you see me? I'm using the beeline yellow top and you just thin it to what you require. So um, on that note, I'm just gonna neaten up that corner. Just a little bit of paper I needed to trim out. That has gone on lovely. I'm going to just check it over, make sure it's down, then I'm going to do the second one. Next time you're going to see me now is at the end. So, thank you. Okie dokie, I'll start to be back nearer the end. Now, on my last length, I've got it down at the top and I've cut the corner already. I've got to trim it round, but I won't show you that. Trimming's trimming. But what I will show you is down here, because you know when you've probably seen previous videos where I say about releasing the pressure on corners. Right, the actual corner is just there. Let's see if we can get it in. It's just there. Now, we need to take the pressure off that because that's wanting to go one way and once that's wanting to go the other way. So, right, we know where that is. Let's get rid of that excess. We don't need that. That's waste. So just with your fingers, just feel where the corner is, all the way down. I can feel the corner there, and there's the edge. So what we're gonna to do to really release that pressure, I'll show you. Now if this was an ordinary wallpaper, you'd probably get a pencil. Mark it with a pencil, like so, on that corner, pull it away, and you can see it. And then you get your shears. I'll show you and just cut to it like that. Now, but what I'm doing, I'm using my blade. So I've got my sharp blade. I know where that corner is. I'm just going to put the edge, the sharp point of the blade, on where that mark is. Just literally. 
I know where it is, I can feel it. I pull the paper away and I just put a bit of pressure and cut into it like that. And that's where my corner is. Now, that will drop in nicely to where that moulding meets, all right, at a right angle. But this, to me, is still waste. So what I do, don't go all the way to the corner, just trim that excess off, like that. Like you're doing a Christmas or a birthday present. And then look how that suddenly, bring it down. Bring that down, all the way down. And that starts to drop into that corner. Same with the bottom, go across the bottom and it starts folding into itself. Can you see that? Can you get in a bit more? So it's folding in. Now I've got that corner there. So the pressure is off that paper. I can bring that down. It falls into that, oh, falls into, oh, pointing to the camera and all. It falls into that corner nicely. And it means now I can go around with this smoother, press it all in and then go around with the blade and a proper straight edge and cut it neat. And we get a neat corner there. And that's how you do it. Really release the pressure of the paper pulling against yourself. Take the corner out and that will drop in nicely. And it is doing. And I've done exactly the same up at the top. So all it, all it is now is go around with a straight edge. So once I've done that, I'll just give you a summary. Make sense? Good. There you have it peeps, job done. Do you know when they say quality remembered long after price has been forgotten? You know when you're hanging a quality wallpaper, it feels a quality wallpaper. It's beautiful, that is stunning. I don't know whether I can... Camera doesn't do it justice. But I've done it, I've been a couple of hours. Probably nearly three. But I've taken my time, made sure my cuts were nicely at the bottom, also at the top. I've explained to you how I released the pressure on corners. And just this was just really showing you what this paper looks like, not so much of a, a tutorial on how to hang paper, a bit of information in there. Um, one of the main things, particularly with papers like these, just top tip, top tip Tuesday, top tip Thursday, top tip Friday. I've said it before in videos, make sure you get your pattern matching at eye level on the joints All right match it there because you can see it but stuff at this position all across I've said before it's been between about five foot and six foot but make sure the stuff you can see is actually matched up if it's running out at the top or the bottom don't worry about it but this paper gone on nicely used uh, I've said before a bit earlier it's the beeline yellow top paste paste it nicely and again i said earlier if you're skipping through this video and coming to me now it's been lined with wall rock um, fiber lining paper and i didn't cross line it a vertical hung it because the way these sizes were it was easier for me to do um, vertical drops but i made sure that where this width of paper was and this paper is roughly about 27 inches it's continental style 27 inches the joints weren't corresponding so there's no there's no need to be hanging horizontal for wallpapering or some people are shouting i can hear you it doesn't tell me why why do you need to hang horizontal don't tell me it's because the gravity drops the paper down and oh you know the old mother's wife's tails and also a butt joint your lining paper butt joint it if your trimming's bad on lining paper and it just makes it a bit proud it doesn't matter because when you come back to actually check your lining over before you hang your finished paper i go over it i went over this with just fine bit of sandpaper if you see a little bit of a joint proud press it down with your roller seam roller sand it out you don't need to be leaving gaps in lining paper do it properly get a butt joint start as you mean to go on and definitely you don't need to be filling joints the only time you'll see me fill a joint is when a wall's running out quite badly and there'll be a video there where i tell you about lining paper if it runs out and it 
it's but and then it goes to a bit of a gap that's different but don't go around leaving quarter of a mil gaps that yeah said enough what do you think of this paper then give us some comments give us some likes give us some subscribes if you want but this paper is fantastic it looks a million dollars well it's not quite off that price but it's an expensive paper i can't get it in on the camera it's that big but you see that looks lovely right there's some videos at the side there thanks for listening to me thanks for following me click on those links there and um, there might even be some other things that you've not seen there in the links above what i'll do in the comments i'll give you a link to this wallpaper um, you see the price how to order it if you want it i'll give the details of the people that my customers got it from but this is a stunning wallpaper and it's um, it's a pleasure to do this sort of work don't forget the videos there thank you